Dubelang San Monanto was Zion in Kanya Lili Sedi. Thank you for tuning in. Those who took the call of action and said they actually want to see what this June 16 episode is all about. So, welcome everybody. Stone is United, 420 Gang, Wake and Bake Gang, Queer and Conscious, Queer Black and Conscious, the Knowledge Seekers, the um, Peace Gang, the Healers, the Towaza Coco Gang, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to an episode that is not an episode still, but what we want to address today. This is how I'm starting this episode today this is the symbol that actually led to what we have today what we are commemorating even if it's in ways that are questionable today's date it's a public holiday in south africa this is june 16 all for such on june 13th a bunch of students met up student leaders they met up and were discussing the revolting is that a word the revolting against the medium of instruction that the apartheid government wanted to instill in our schools already the level of education that the black child was receiving was below par the resources allocated to the black student were not matching what the non what what the european student was privileged to All right so those who do know, it had its hierarchies. So it was white first, it was the colored, the Indians, or the Indians and the colored, then the black, all right? Within the colored community as well, there was still different gradings. That is why with some black people, if your skin was a bit more light in complexion, you had better privileges, hence why it's still historic, why the history is still prevalent today while we are still bleaching our skins while in I know in Nigeria it's very prominent we women are still bleaching their skin as a form of beauty all right I've seen it in other communities as well but this was because of those injustices and because of such students including Bo Tieti Mashinini a 19 year old who put the country on its knees because they were refusing our parents or their parents our grandparents they were already accepting of the status quo of the country where yes bus yes bus is the way of life so the june 16 uprising well the student uprising was supposed to last from the 16th of june up until the 19th the 18th of june it had three parts these students were very very organized navalo organized unlike what we are seeing today so this is information i also only got alerted to i've seen sarafina i remember as in i saw it called by school, but nah, was on a white sheet where sarafina was where sarafina was broadcasted or was not broadcast where sarafina was was shown nearly for by school, right and my young mind then still could not comprehend the first time my mother actually alerted me to how actually the world was, I think we're watching Roots at home. The series of Roots, the original one with Kunta Kente, right? That's when she started sharing with me what actually happened on, on such days where children were tear gassed, children, there were no rubber bullets, children were shot and killed, children. I grew up, I became an adult and i always wondered what happened after june 16. so but let's wrap up what happened on the day june 16. june 16 a peaceful protest from all the way in deep so it so students from naledi high morris isaacson they were marching a peaceful march from deep so it all, coming all the way to what we see now as the tourist of Villagazi street that's when hell erupted where students were protesting in a peaceful and calm manner all right those who have seen sarafina probably have are only seeing the aftermath of what happened and in the police force give a fine like even today at work your grown father can be called boy by a little boy because of the privilege of the color of his skin all right so these students then um when they got to orlando wastes kopefeni Orlando West, that's where now a little cop, a little white cop, shot at students. So <clears throat> history says Hector Peterson was the first one shot, but no, actually it was Hastings Ndlovu 
the first casualty of the march all right and when they got to the place Tieti Machinini still announced stood on i think a hippo still announced that this is a peaceful protest students stay calm the police are coming now word words had gotten out that the police are coming once that first bullet got out that's when all hell broke loose because now we're coming with peace and then you want to attack us you want to kill us already we're living in sub human conditions and now we are addressing you guys in a peaceful manner yet you find ways where you still want to dehumanize us and i get it i really get it i really really do get it fine then that's when now um the ones that were captured hastings and was not captured the one that was captured was um oh hector peterson right a little boy i think below the age of i think he was 12 or 13 he was a child he was a child he was shot his sister Antoinette and a gentleman Buiseni, who we still don't know what happened to him those who do know i don't know when the truth is going to come out because his mom passed away before even finding out where her son was but word is he died in exile so that famous picture that you see when you're searching for june 16 and what we've also bastardized to include alcohol and whatever that is the original picture so journalist for sam z mom and my favorite book that i read Guy, um the source don't care that you're recording anywho so hell erupted hell erupted uh, it's a peterson oh, oh yeah so what was bastardized now to include liquor which is another problem that we need to touch a little bit on right then came um that's when now the students went ballistic all right so there were caucasian people who were in the townships helping there was a board called the west rand board of administrators so a lot of pro-black white people also got caught in the crossfire where they were either burnt alive their cars torched they are even the some journalists cars torched um they were in danger i can't remember who this doctor was but my one of the my favorite people who covers the events of june 16 and after is peter makubane a prolific photographer or yeah he's a journalist but he when i got my hands on that book because i always wondered what happened after the day because it's not like with with us now clearly we just it's a party day and then public holiday is over and that's that so this day used to be called um the the nc comrades uh, before the factions i guess when mandela came into power he changed, the nc comrades used to call this day um soweto i think it was soweto day um and I know it's it's called it's linked to Soweto uprising, right? So it started here, but already there was unsettlement in your students in Cape Town. Already were questioning this forced apart forced Afrikaans as a medium of instruction. Already English is not our mother language, but we still need to be teaching our students in this. Also, with an education system, Bantu education, that only trains us to actually go work for the system and not be an independent thinker, not have the same level of education as a white student, right? Pardon me. Yes, yeah, so it used to be called Soweto Den, it's linked to Soweto Uprising, but then when the late President Nelson Mandela got into power in 1994, he advocated for the day to be called Youth Day. But my problem with that though is you they it seems to be not you they are everybody else right because i feel majority of the black people were the ones bakawati lenke the events of this day right and i think watching kikalushi the movie and hearing from people about what mommy lordy in pretoria because for the longest i thought okay this these things only happened to mosoeto but actually the entire country went insane right beer holes were torched so this is covered beautifully in peter makubani's book it's a photography book so it's the, it's not too much reading but it, it gives you an idea what was actually happening so these students 
were burning beer halls because that was another tool used by the apartheid government where children are burning, children are in distress, children are dying, you know, so that is why I think with my consciousness, I don't wear Sarafina uniform and go partying. I've done that before. So I keep getting on now. I've done that before because I didn't have an understanding of actually who come who commemorate ke eng and actually who what are we doing? Why are they a uniform, you know? And then we Yeah, the state of this is a conversation I was having with my friends actually yesterday, Hori. Um there's a law now passed down that if you don't and what not what not. So from that conversation I rose I think things that I feel about the education system on its own, you know, the minute you want to be robotizing people, now we need to think in the same way. Now, because I can't do maths, it means this. Now, because I can't understand or oh, give like English and then I'm automatically failing. We have a big, 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 big problem, the education system, Yarona, to begin with, all right? So, Today, I'm not saying don't do it, but be cognizant of Actually, man. Children died, real children died from the ages of nine. There's also a gentleman uh, who was from Orlando, Seth Mazibugo, who has been doing this for 40, is it 47 or 46 years now? Since June 16, 1926. But he's been conscientizing, I guess, or enlightening people of the events of this day. Hore. Actually, I said party. I said party where children's balls were crushed because you are saying, Hore, you are dehumanizing me. Where children's nipples were twisted. Where children were put in cells. Children, kiwakaba, right? Let's leave the adults because there's also that, its own trauma. So if you haven't watched Sarafina, I think Gibi Le Sarafina ya now is a bit sanitized in a way. It's not depicting actually actually what happened and there's another movie if anybody knows where i can find it can i can i can you guys plug me it's called the line it was banned by the government so it only aired once and unfortunately so I'm, I'm the type that would sleep early as a child so i missed it It was only aired once and i never got to see but it was covering the events that are happening or have been happening consistently you know and um yeah anybody Youth and Dala, Kupaling Tusing, if you guys have the movie, it's called The Line. So, yeah, do yourself a favor, go watch Sarafina. I think it's a strategy that the ANC uses. Am um, I allowed to say that? Like, I'll blurb that, I'll bleep that out. But the ruling government uses to, to garner votes. So, they, are, they don't spend time campaigning and stuff. They'll play Sarafina and Batseba Koriba sorted. But, yeah, so if you go through today, um, I hope you, I hope Lee, the ruling party is ashamed of, of themselves, you know, is ashamed of themselves. What children died, what you called as comrades and commanders and people that you're working side by side with died in vain. Bokalushi, my, imagine you're a child and you want your blood to be nourishing the soil that's going to provide our freedom. I'm saying it wrong. I definitely know. But yeah, be cognizant of that when you're raising your... Be a bottle, you potting, got uniform, you are, yeah. Also, yeah, corporate South Africa, I remain cognizant of that. Real children died from the ages of nine. This is the documented stuff. And those who do have time, Hector Peterson Museum has opened. It also covers in pictorial form. And I think there is a guide. I'm not too sure now. There is a guide who, yeah, leads you throughout the entire museum. But it was... Yeah, I, I'm not celebrating Youth Day. Um, yeah, I think maybe the most I'll do, maybe I'll, I'll light a candle. I don't know what for either, but it's a, for me, it's morning in a way. It's morning that even now, like, this nonsense is still, it's still not for the black child. The symbol, and Gosisigelela, the thing that started and got children killed. Happy today for those celebrating June 16, 1976. We remember you. We thank you. The comrades in Parliament should be ashamed. Have a good peace.